Sharon Pedro, in addition to the attorney general taking over the case, Supervisor Kuehl's attorneys want the information that was collected by the sheriff's department as evidence to be quashed. New information unraveling in the investigation by the Sheriff's Department into Board of Supervisor Sheila Kuehl over allegations of corruption. This after a search warrant was served at her Santa Monica home. The judge shot down any claim that Sheila Kuehl had that the law enforcement, that the Sheriff's Office went forum shopping to find a friendly judge. The judge in this case said no. This was who they were sent to to procure the warrant, and it was done by the book. Legal expert Allison Treasel has been following this investigation closely. She says during that raid, investigators found a series of text messages. Those were published in the LA Times, stating that Kuehl was tipped off about the investigation and the search. Sheila Kuehl's counsel has said this was beyond the scope of the search warrant. It was not what the judge signed off agreeing to have search. And you may have violated my attorney client privilege. Because of the long standing feud and possible conflict of interest, the attorney general has taken over the case. This sheriff's investigation stemming from allegations of political corruption against the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, saying that Kuehl played favorites, awarding contracts to a nonprofit organization run by a close friend instead of getting contractual bids. From the public. Kuehl refutes those claims and says the sheriff is a bully and will do anything to get his political point across. The ultimate decision on whether there's impropriety here, and in fact, this was done illegally, that ultimate fact will be decided by a judge after they thoroughly review all of the evidence. So, Jen, is State Attorney General Rob Bonta going to look into who tipped off Supervisor Kuehl before that search warrant? Uh, was served. Yeah, sure. That's in part how this all started. V and waving as asking Bonta to investigate the tipster, but instead Bonta instead taking over the entire case um, and to the investigation. As for the sheriff's department, they have been given a two weeks notice to hand over the evidence. That's the latest live in downtown LA. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA Five News. Jennifer